This video demonstrates Excel Reporter's ISA 88 Advanced Module for Delta V Basic Batch. Before we get started, I'll note that Excel Reporter produces two types of batch reports. Standard batch reports, which collect data from database queries, and advanced reports, which combine database queries with an engine purpose-built to work seamlessly for applications designed in the ISA 88 framework. Some examples of standard reports are these dashboards, which focus on general summary calculations and value trends over the duration of a batch. This comparison report stacks multiple batches side by side. While these reports provide useful information about the batch process, let's now turn our attention to Delta V batch software and reporting for applications designed around the ISA 88 framework. Delta V batch software is organized into three tiers. Basic, Advanced, and Professional. All three create detailed logs of the batch history. The Advanced and Professional software log this history to databases for which there are a wealth of analytical and reporting solutions. However, Basic Batch logs data to unique historical files for each batch executed in the process. These files can be difficult to work with, especially for people who aren't process engineers. And frankly, there are no easy streamlined tools that can be used to generate reports with them. Now, sure, you could open up Excel and import one of these files and perform analysis on the data, but now we'll show you why Excel Reporter's functionality is much more advanced than that with the Basic Batch Connector. Excel Reporter's Basic Batch Connector functions by monitoring the directory where the Basic Batch software is storing its batch history files. When a new file is detected, Excel Reporter will automatically interrogate it and generate a batch frame for it. Batch frames are stored in a database and contain batch parameters such as the recipe, ID, and the start time. This information can be used to select the batch from a list when generating a report on demand. At that point in time, when a new batch history file is created, Excel Reporter could also just go ahead and generate a report automatically. When basic batch functionality is added to an Excel Reporter project, batch frames are automatically created for all existing history files on the system. Now let's take a quick look at how the basic batch connector integrates into an Excel Reporter project. Okay, so to get started reporting from my basic batch history files, I'll add a data connector into my Excel Reporter project, which will tell Excel Reporter where on the system those files are located. When I add that basic batch connector to the project, two other connectors, batch export and batch database, are also added, which Excel Reporter will use in the background to generate batch frames. So at this point, I've already been running the basic batch software for some time, and I've got quite a few batch history files already stored. I need a way to get Excel Reporter synchronized with those existing files. So what I'll do is open up the project schedule, and I can run a script, which has been put in place automatically by the basic batch connector, that will look through that directory and generate batch frames for all existing files. Now, going forward, I can just start Excel Reporter Scheduler, and that batch frame generation will happen automatically each time a new file is detected. With the basic batch connector, two report templates are added to the project, batch analysis and batch details. I can use these templates to generate reports by opening up the on-demand reports viewer. And now, to this point, we've spoken quite a bit about batch frames. So what exactly does that mean for reporting? Well, it means I can open up this viewer and display a list of every batch recorded on the system. And what's nice about the batch frames is I can see those batches listed by batch ID or recipe rather than by the somewhat abstract names of the EVT files. The frame list can be filtered with options to show the current batch, the one previous to that, batches occurring over a certain date range, or even the last X number of batches that I've run. To generate a report, I just select a batch frame and click Refresh. This template, Batch Analysis, contains batch summary information such as the scale and time frame of the batch. 
information about the active recipe and changes to the set points, and even delta calculations so we can see how close the batch was to its set parameters. The sequence subreport shows the full execution sequence of the batch with a Gantt chart that can be filtered right here in the report. Finally, the operator subreport shows the operator activity throughout the batch, focusing on their responses to prompts from the HMI. In addition to those created with the connector, SciTech also provides an extended library of report templates that work out of the box with the basic batch connector. They can be downloaded by heading to SciTech.com and opening the Emerson Automation Solutions page on our Solutions tab. There, scroll down to the section for Basic Batch and select Templates. Fill out the contact information form, then a link will be sent to your email to our product downloads page where you can download the basic batch templates. To install the extended templates, just extract them to the input folder of the active project. One of the functions provided by these extended templates is Golden Batch Comparison, which allows users to select an ideal or golden batch for each recipe and then compare others against it. I know that for my TS950A recipe that this was a particularly well executed batch, so I'll use the Golden Batch Select template to set this as my golden batch. Next, I'll open up the Golden Batch Compare template and compare it to another batch in the same recipe. Here I can see the golden batch stacked up side by side with the batch I've selected and I can clearly tell which phases of the execution that the production was struggling with. One final point to note is that basic batch reports can be updated automatically on a schedule when a batch is complete and the results can be organized by recipe and the batch ID. For more information, visit us online at www.scitech.com.